Mm. Black Raven Monastery. Yes. Okay. Swaldi Tanarsen is probably the last guy we have to talk to before Strange. we talk to the leader. Of me over these others? No. I'm Swaldi Tanarsen, master trainer of this monastery. There's no need for you to be in this chamber, stranger. I must ask that you go. Hmm. Questions. Just as I have students to train, ask your questions elsewhere and don't interrupt my students with them. Okay, I wanted to ask about Sarasat. I don't speak of others when they're not present. Could you help her with additional training? No. Sarasat must learn self-reliance and overcome whatever obstacles she faces herself. I won't be convinced otherwise. So we'll stop wasting our breath on her. Wait. Is your duty to teach the monks martial arts or self-reliance? Martial arts, but then work within your duties. It is not for you to teach her self-reliance. If she's come to a wall in her training, your duty is to give her the additional help she needs. But the monastery teaches martial arts so that the monks might learn self-reliance. Correct. So Sersa cannot learn self-reliance until you her help her advance her martial skill. Yes. Yes, I understand. I'll help her. What? I'm... I'm... I sort of understand what he's talking about. But... I, I do agree that even that line of argument, even if we're just trying to convince him, is sort of solid. Since... Uh, Especially if you, depending on which stage you are, trying to go at it yourself is just its very in inefficient and you'll have to sort of reinvent the wheel when uh, others already know what you need to do or at least can uh, help you get there. They don't have to... There's part of it that you have to learn into doing anyway. It's like teaching someone to swim. There's only so much you can uh, tell her someone how to swim or freestyle, for example. The thing is, every person still has to learn how to actually control his or her body, to breathe properly, and uh, do the actual things that you require for you to be able to move fast in the water and keep your form, keep your breathing uh, throughout the three, three star swimming action and it, it's it, it's not at that stage where you teach the independence. Um, I spoke to Svalthid for you. You did? And he agreed to help me? Uh, then I'm sure I'll improve now. Thank you, Traveler. You've been a great help. Come, think close. Don't speak of this to anyone. But I'll let you rest here for free now. Shh. Well, wasn't that worthwhile? I'm sure we got some experience or something like that. Of course. Fine. Okay. Greetings, brave traveler. The way here has always been hard, but with the arrival of the Durgar, I'm certain the road has was even more dangerous. What brought you here? 
here in the hopes of using the underdark passage beneath the monastery. How unfortunate! Your journey has been in vain, traveller. I can't allow you to descend beneath the monastery. Speak to Sina in the main quarters, if you'd care to rest before returning home. Why can't I use the underdark passage? The passage you speak is of, of is no mere tunnel, traveller. It's the portal through which Valas, our founder, escaped his drow slavers and found the surface world. It's part of his tomb now, into which only the monks may enter. Questions? They're best said for others with more time, traveler. I have many things to attend to as standing Archmandrites of the monastery. No doubt you can find others less busy than I to answer your questions. I'm Dolon, Dolon Daimba. Your Ed is Rahal, yes? I've heard of you. There is bad blood between you and my masters. But no worries, Cutler. Cutter. I'm a messenger, not a warrior. You have nothing to fear from me. So, what are you doing here? I'm an envoy from the Severed Hand. I brought an invitation from my masters to or Mr. Hoare, Black Raven Monastery's Archmandrate. The monastery has asked that I not leave until the Archmandrate returns. It's an old tradition, I believe one began by the drow. But it's no matter, my stay has been pleasant. The monks are kind and the library extensive. So where are you from? I assume you refer to my appearance. A faraway place called Sigil by those who know of it. My origins, while I'm clearly of mixed heritage, plain touch, some might say. That little is all I know. I never knew my parents. Masters, my lord and lady Isair and Mede, commanders of the Legion of the Chimera. And please allow me to say once more, I bear you no ill will. Let's remain at peace with one another within these halls. Very well. Mm. Another potential subject for our Speak. thievery. Ah, but that sucks, sucks ass so much, I don't want to try it anymore. There's one target I want to try it on, but that's pretty much it. There is none better than a certainly. Have you spoken to Aruma yet? What was her answer? Uh, she said no. I thought she might. Listen closely then, for I have an offer to make. One which will benefit the both of us. Dolon Daimba is a legion of the Chimera envoy. He came some time ago to speak with the Archmandrite, or Mr. Hor and requested that he visit Dolan's masters at their capital, Severed Hand. Ormis commanded that Dolan remain behind as a hostage, leaving Aruma in charge of the Sim Monastery. In a matter of days, Aruma grew angry and bitter at having been left behind, claiming that she had been slighted by the Archmandrite. Aruma well, has taken Ormis's position, and exiled all those who spoke against her openly. Now Dolan spends much time in Aruma's company. We fear that the envoy has somehow swayed her against the Archmandrit, somehow corrupted her. If you can convince Aruma to relinquish her power, the position of standing Archmandrit falls to a council of three monks that includes myself. I will see to it that you are allowed to face the eight chambers. What are the eight chambers? The eight chambers make up a se series of challenges designed to thwart those without the skill and willpower to be 
worthy of our order. To master all eight is dangerous, but not impossible. I myself have completed them. Should you master the chambers, you will be considered an associate of the monastery and allowed access to Balas's tomb and the underdark passage within. That is my offer. Speak of it to no one else, or it is rescinded. Why hasn't Dolan been challenged? We found no way to discredit him, and as he is a residing quest <laughs> guest, we are sworn to protect him. If you attack him, we will be forced to come to his aid. A residing guest. Yes, by Ormus's command, Dolan is a hostage of sorts, obl obligated to remain here until the Archmandrid returns. He has his own chamber near Arumas, though the door is always locked. Why don't you find a fight Aruma? We are all bound by oaths to protect her. You cannot provoke her, or all will be for nothing. If Aruma is attacked, we must defend her with our lives. You must find another way. Yes, so, find Jabuk. evidence of some kind of going. Yeah, I'm, I'm great at these. The best, Just like I managed to find the clues to rescue the myself. children. On non-violence. Black Raven. Philosophy of Karatur. Okay, questions about the monastery. Was Balem del Farm, the Black Raven, founded the Black Raven Monastery more than 13 decades ago. We carry on his ideals of self reliance, opposition to slavery and imprisonment, and martial perfection to this day. Tell me about Balas. Balas was half human, half drow slave who escaped his cruel masters in the utter dark, fighting his way to the surface world and freedom with nothing more than his bare hands and the very chains that once bound them. The half drow's name was Balas Balem del Farm, Balas Slave of Parm. As a child, Balas was a house servant of the Leon, but soon grew into a lean and powerful young adult. While most families are reluctant to keep such dangerous slaves, Malas was lost in a wager to an opposing family, the Parm, who kept him alive simply to spite the loon. Malas became the greatest champion of the, of the farm's gladiator stable, in fact the greatest of all of Rilelven stables, before he escaped. Uh, Rilelven? Ah, I beg your pardon. Rilauben is a drow city in the Underdark, where Vala served as a slave and a gladiator. Shall I continue? It was then, during the decades spent in the Dark City's magi magi majestically spired arena of blood sports, that Valas developed his legendary fighting skills. When Valas fled Rilauben, he surfaced in the spine of the world at the headwaters of the Black Raven River. At this very site, in fact, his tomb is beneath this monastery, beside the very same passage he once used to leave the Underdark. The tale is a long one of Uthgard barbarians and how Valas obtained the name of Black Raven, of his travels and adventures across Farin, his gathering of students and return to build this monastery. Still interested? Sure. Well then, Balas insisted that we rely upon ourselves, and so I must insist as much of you. There is a book upon these shelves, Balas the Black Raven. It contains the remainder of the tale. Okay, what are the monastery's key beliefs? To violently oppose slavery of any form, and to oppose imprisonment. If a criminal deserves punishment, so be it, but to take per up no person's physical freedom. That servants significantly improve the lives of their masters. Servants should thus be created accordingly, with kindness, respect, and appreciation. 
and to watch politics closely but remain forever wary of them. Too often in the past, silver tongued politicians subtly used Balas's beliefs against him, tricking him into furthering their own selfish agendas. That is all. I'm not doing this just for the history lesson. I'm. Since we have to find something wrong with the. What's going on with the current leader and the. Severed Hand or Legion of the Chimera Emissary, I I'm sort of want to. Learn more about the principles of the monastery so we might be able to spot when we have something that we can use. His own details, the history of Valas Balam, their farm, the Black Raven, uh, and that of the Black Raven Monastery. The monastery was built in the year 1181, founded by a half human, half proud slave who escaped his cruel masters in the Underdark, fighting his way to the surface world and freedom with nothing more than his bare hands and the very chains that he were once found them. The half drow's name was Valas Balam del Parm. Valas slave of far. As a child, Valas was a house servant of Loon, but soon grew. Uh, yeah, this is just repeating the same shit. Uh, the book goes on to recount in detail how Valas escaped, resurfacing in the spiny world. At the I'm trying to see if there's something new here. The barbarians don't know what to make of Balas, who shows up out of nowhere with crimson eyes, jet black skin, and hair to match. Half naked and with bloody chains dangling uh, from his wrists. Naturally, they their bravest attack and are promptly defeated. The barbarians think him a spirit warrior sent to punish their arrogance and uh, christen him the Black Raven, a name that Balas takes as his own. They are later saddened but slightly relieved to see him leave. Malas travels the lured, uh, world as the Black Raven, fights against slavery and imprisonment wherever it's found, making a great deal of enemies in the process. He collects a throng of loyal students, teaches them his ideals and martial techniques, and eventually returns with them to the spine of the world to build the Black Raven Monastery. He eventually dies quietly of old age. Is interred beneath the monastery in a tomb near the underground headwaters of the Black Raven River. And with that, a story. Mm. Elendar. Okay, what? There are two rooms here that we can't access. This looks like a storage room, so that's not interesting. This is more important, clearly. I am needed. I shall not fail. What do you need me now? I'll see what I can do. A little bit of money, Thomas Letters. This is a set of letters of the Legion of the Chimera in Voidolon, Daimba, each marked with the Legion's seal. 
One of them refers to a plot to disrupt the monastery's activities by turning Aruma Blaine, standing Arch Mandret against Ormis Dohor, the current Arch Mandret, who is now away visiting the Legion of the Chimera capital at the Severed Hand. When Ormis refused to side with the Legion of the Chimera, Dolan was commanded to seduce and corrupt Aruma, and then see to it that the monastery kept out of the Legion's affairs. What is your irindith? Aluve oost. Um, yeah, I'm done. Not giving the information to her, too, I suppose. Need something done right? Fine. Okay, we found these letters to Dolan. Oh my. You should present these to Aruma immediately. They may well do the trick. Ask politely or you die. Aluve Oost. You need one, certainly. I found these letters in Dolan's chambers. My chambers? What were you? The letters. Return those to me at once. What are these letters, Dolan? They speak of a plot to disrupt the monastery's activities in the Arch Mandrit's absence by turning you against him. But... Is it true, Dolan? Why? Because, lovely Aruma, the Legion of the Chimera sees the many monks here as a significant threat. When Ormis refused to side with them, I was commanded to seduce and corrupt you. I don't know the Archmantrix of fate myself. I thought that you... You... Damn you, Dolan! And why do you even have those letters? What could make a man so foolish as not to destroy them? In case I needed to use them against my masters, paranoia and treachery run thick in my cursed blood. I normally hide them on my person, but was so happy here with you, I suppose I grew careless and forgot them in my chambers. So now what? The rumor? You've heard no one. The monks you've sent away, they can always return. What are you saying? I'm asking you to forgive me, and yourself. My words against Ormis were lies, but my love for you was always true. Please, leave this monastery, leave Baron. Return with me to Sigil, where we can start again. But I... I'll do it. I'll go, Dolan. I'll trust you. We'll leave this world behind forever. I don't know what to say, Traveler. I can only ask your forgiveness as Dolan asks for mine. Leadership of the monastery falls to good and Salazin now. Please make your requests of him. Farewell and good fortune. Well, Cutter, I worked too long with the barmy nutters you're tangling with, and won't be gloomy to leave their employ. Please keep anything else you find in my chambers, and the best of luck. You've a hard road ahead. Oh, that's easy. I suppose I guess. Loot, 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 loot. Life loot. whenever my skills are needed. Hmm. Not quite sure how they'll react to my looting speed here. You have to be somewhat careful. I am your man. Somewhat careful I in guess. the saving department, so we need to loot first and see if there's any kind of hostile reaction. Yeah, 
It's a shame when they escaped, they took all the loot here with them. Some people just... Just can't trust them. Ooh. Halberd, I think that's the first magical harbor, Halberd, I've seen. So if Halberd is your weapon focus, I feel sorry for you. Another useless set of razors. Very valuable though. Hammer of Lucerne. Plus one. Disruption. All undead and outsiders st struck must make a fortitude save or be destroyed. Well, yeah, they use the same pole arm skill, so it doesn't really matter. This is a great weapon. Great weapon indeed. No, it's not good for. Yeah. What? Screw it. I don't care if they fight me. I I'm willing to fight for that kind of a weapon. Uh, I've been sort of worried about the undead creature for some time now. What so to do with if we face them? So a lot of our abilities and focuses don't do shit against them. Now we at least have a proper melee weapon to use against them. My thanks and praises, traveler. You are free to approach Morohem on the second level of the monastery. He will show you the eight chambers. Should you master them all, you will have access to the Underdark. Go so see him then. Speak. Elemshin be done. I don't have much of a recollection about this. Uh, as when I say much, uh, I don't recall them even being in the game. So. It'll be interesting yes. seeing what the fuck we have to do. Yes, Jabu. I certainly don't. You do I can't even remember me. a single one of them, let alone all eight. There are a couple of ways to do this. I think one way is simply to kill all the monks. So that's probably one way. I've I've done this before. It might be even be the only way. Of course. Strange you ask this of me over these others? No? Ah, uh, it is Rahal. The chambers are open to you now. Be careful, each chamber of tests consists of a unique battle and all are deadly. More than a few challengers have died within. You must face each chamber alone and unarmed. Oh, so a spellcaster. This means you may bring no companions and no equipment. If you have items that require storage, speak to Nonin upstairs. When you are ready to face the chambers, let me know. I'll let you in and seal the door behind you, at which point the test will begin. You may not leave until you have mastered the chamber or perish in the attempt. By the way, should one of your companions choose to enter the chamber in your place, please have them speak to me. Also, there is a hidden compartment in each of the chambers, a release which is a large golden button. You press it and a small sliding door will reveal a number of weapons should you require them. Lastly, so long as you are facing the chambers, you are permitted to rest here. Simply ask and I'll see to it that you are not disturbed. Okay, what chamber am I facing? The Chamber of Stone. Pull the levers in the correct order and survive the resulting consequences to master the chamber. If they're pulled in the wrong order, you must begin again. Tell me about the eight chambers. 
I was once told they were designed to dwarf those without the skill or willpower to be worthy of our order, and with Lathander as my witness, they do. I don't know what madman concocted or created them, but mad he certainly was. Okay. Um, I don't think the wizard is a good choice. Uh, Cleric might be better. She has more Elendar. martial prowess, a lot more special abilities. But what we also would require is boosts. So, iron skins would probably be a good idea. We only need to survive one at a time. Uh, how much? Eight hours. Uh, or. The resistance bonus only applies to a number of attacks equal to one attack for every two levels to caster up to a maximum of eight. So we can take reduce damage for a small number of attacks. I don't think heal is well, a good spell to use there. I don't think we'll have the time to cast it. Casting time instant. Well, that's not no longer a concern, is it? What we probably would need is creatures to summon. Uh, what's the casting time on these? Six. Seven. Animate it. We might want to create more variation. Defensive abilities would also be well, very welcome. Mm, there aren't that many good, good ones. Spiritual Hammer. Remove Paralysis is totally pointless because I'm here alone. Minor elemental barrier. Full strength. Mm. Protection from evil. Yeah. I have to lose all equipment though. Mm. Quit your blubber. We don't really have the inventory space to store all the extra crap, so you do not command me. Who the hell did I need to talk to? No need. I I don't recall who Noni Noni was. Do we even meet one? There's a monk, 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 monk. What is your illin? Well, um, Morahem told us to speak to you about storing equipment. 
Uh, here's the key to the storeroom. Ought to be plenty of space for whatever you're storing. Was that all? Um, okay. Oh, before you go, a quick word. I have lost my father's ring, a handsome thing of gold and ruby. If you see it, I'd be grateful to have it returned. That's all. Ask politely. You do not command me. We don't have to complete the test on a single character. Uh, I'm hoping we can, no, though. It shouldn't be a problem. Simply because I, I don't want to go through this management Why? crap all the times. Ooh, what are you doing here? There is none better than a strange. You ask this of me over these others? No. That is. What are you doing here? This door should be locked at all times. I have permission and the key from known in the steward. Yeah, I have permission, do ye? Well then, I suppose that is all. I have business to, to be about. So fare ye well. So what did you hide here? Ready. Or do you Time. carry it with you? Speak, while. Punch whom? Ready? I shall be swift about it. Go ahead. It shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, now it's locked. Eating <sighs> bullets, arrows. Ooh, lamp oil. Pressure lamp oil. What is this? Order staff. Rule Maru's harmless staff. Okay. 15% chance of poisoning struck the target. 1% chance of poisoning the wielder. 5% uh, chance of inflicting 1d4 piercing damage 5% chance of inflicting 1d8 bludgeoning damage 1% chance of inflicting 1d6 bludgeoning damage on the wielder 10% uh, chance of inflicting piercing damage 1% chance of doing it to the wielder 5% chance of stunning attack on the target 10% chance of inflicting bludgeoning damage 5% chance of inflicting acid damage, 1% to inflict it on yourself. 1% chance of casting Slater's Living on stock targets. Um, yeah. This is, um, interesting. Uh, more to the point, it doesn't look like there's a convenient way to really store things. Not really. Um, I get that the ammunition and all that I can probably store. What is this? Uh, precious drinking horn. We're spreading this crap all over the place. I want the in this inventory to be is basically the only the bay. No. Does that include bottles? By the way, we'll test that. Never like this type of thing in any game. This is not an exception. I think it's shit. They're gonna bother, I mean, force me to do this shit. Uh, try to script for it or something. Yes, this is the Usta Elendith. I 
Elendar. Ustan Elgados. New equipment of any sort. Quit your blood is the Usta Elendith. Okay, that's the escape hatch. I don't get it. Yeah, that's gonna be a fair amount of boosting. I think that's uh, that's good enough. We rest after completing even a single challenge, so everything can go. One, two, three, four, five. Greater zombie lord. Cold bones. Okay, I'll get it. Five switches. Stone monk. And these are the equipment storages on the vine. To shit. And to shit. My Sarg is greater than yours. we need is the sequence. We need to kill one at a time, two at a time, three at a time, and so forth. Yeah, I'm loading. I I'm not going to fight these there any more than we have to. We gained no experience, and it's just a waste of time. I might as well just load and try the next switch, instead of go through the same options again and again. What? Is me the Yoklol caress you in the abyss? Feel free to attack. Speak. Ustan Pegados. Oh. 
Okay. We pick wrong. Every time we pick something, we pick wrong. Hmm. Is that oost that illendith? No, no. Stay there. Over oost. Speak. Broad English. Yeah, they're not really match for the undead. Master the Chamber of Tall Stone. Which chamber am I facing? Shadows. You must navigate a series of dark portals to master the chamber. The shadows can both help and hinder your progress. Okay. Um. Let's see if we can do it without. Yes, Jabuk. Vita Mortis. I mean, these creatures we're summoning aren't exactly weak, so. Unless there's a massive amount of heart fighting, we should be able to maintain us. And we lost all the protection spells too. Sort of sucks. But we definitely want to rest before entering the uh, next chamber. Quit your bloody bit. Okay, now we get these. Um, I have no idea. This goes there, this goes there. No clue what I'm doing. You have mastered the Chamber of Shadows. <laughs> okay, I, what the fuck was that? Either we were incredibly lucky or that was incredibly stupid. Either what way, I accept both alternatives. You do not command me. Chamber of Sorcery. There are a number of glowing panels in the floor. Use them wisely to defeat the enemies within. Ask politely or you die. Ah, probably attack panels and defensive panels, which we need to use to defeat our enemies. Let's try the help first. <laughs> Crystal line mark. Okay, I'm not quite sure what's going on, but
summoning limit reach. Ah, uh, the summons, so the summons didn't actually disappear. Um. I have no idea what the fuck is going on. Certain things certainly aren't working, I can see that. understand what I'm supposed to do here. Use the Gleeps, so, okay. Oh, I think I just need to gain victory by any means necessary, and that's gonna be enough. Speak. This is a problem in the sense that. Yeah, victory. Yes, Jab is Undead are still here. Yeah. How do I get rid of them? Six. How many? How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Elendar. While. Well, at least here we can see when they disappear. That's good enough. It's a lot more easier than I thought, although we have a... Uh, summoning would not be available for a proper monk. Chamber of Clockwork. You will face a trio of foes with a room of whirling blades and drills. Step carefully and defeat your opponents to master the chamber. But be wary of your opponent's enemy's final attacks. The chamber itself will provide you with a method of stopping them. I think you lose your all your enchantments when you enter uh, a room, so you can prepare yourself. What is your illendith? We need you to cast. Yeah. I'm pretty much screwed at this point. I have no way a match for these guys. Yep. I'm dead. I would have needed to... Yeah, by a little bit of time to get some kind of a spell going, and now they really is. Hmm. 
We need to survive long enough to cast something. Might as well try to go for the summons. What? Why well. We don't have a lot of time. That let's go. Ooh, that's one less I'm gonna ask. Doesn't mean we're in a good position though. Just if there's one less on our ass. Sure, we need it. Um, how the hell are we gonna deflect all that? It's going to do some kind of super attack, but. No idea how to do create that. The room will provide the way. Okay. Good to know. I quite understand how the room provides shit for us, but I'll take your word for it to the fights. Ah. It's here, this opened up. Sudden changes Speak. corresponding to the monk we need to take down. Ustan Elgados. Okay, not exactly what I needed. But yeah, there are. The seem to test seem to be fairly logical. Uh, I still don't get what this was all about. <sighs> At least I didn't change past spot any changes. Naturally, it seems like you have to be uh, maybe on a certain position at certain times to avoid uh, those lightning attacks. But whatever. Chamber of Sand. The sand itself will attack you. Find a way to defeat it and master the chamber. Sand monks, I assume. Uh, switchies. 
I need to cast a distraction. So, four switches. Ah, Let's go there. Yes, Rothy Blit. Now you can go there. Ellen, Rothy Blit. They're probably immune to every other type of damage. I just need to get some defenses going. It's probably mutual though. Quick elemption be done. Okay, I see how this goes. This will never work. Fighting between them will never end. What is your aloe oost? Can't keep suppressing the same one over and over again. What does this summon? Yeah, we're doing damage to them. Can we only fire these ones? Yeah. So if you fail to get both of them in the same ray, you're shit out of luck. Luckily, we have other means, but. Politely, or you die. Ah, uh. yeah, this not take forever. Ah, uh, well, can't be helped. Yeah, this is what we basically screwed up totally. I feel this is a bit of a weak design because there's no chance of recovering from a bad learning experience here.
not much we can do. It'll go down, not quickly, but it'll go down. I think the damage reduction is something like 15 points. So we're doing like 2 points of damage here and there. Most of those hits achieve nothing. <sighs> Almost dead. Mm, these aren't too bad challenges. I mean, there's a idea behind it all challenges. I have to rest, uh, I think, 16 hours to get rid of the. At least most of the summon undead. So, 6th chamber. The chamber of silk. Poison web spiders have sprung their venomous webs across the room and lurk in the dark corners, awaiting prey. Defeat them all to master the chamber. Seems like another good match. Undead versus poisoning creatures. Speak. We need to get the undead out, though, before anything starts, otherwise we're screwed. Crap. Crap. It's a bit of a tough spot for us. We don't have uh, uh, anti poison abilities. We are confused and poisoned, so we're basically dead. Yes. Um. There aren't good protections for us after all. What is that? Greater zombie lord. Run! And they keep spawning more of them. Typical weapon, typical crap. Yes. Okay, it's not that bad. They take a surprising amount of damage, though. No, uh, I'm just not doing any real damage. Crap. Elendar. Rot idiot. Success. Not too bad. Quit your blubbering. Bacio, bacio. Watch you. 
think I'll try the next one straight up. So it's the seventh challenge. Let him be done. Chamber of Battle. You must learn to manipulate your enemies in battle in order to master the chamber. Yeah, what could possibly go wrong? I'm a master of battle. Ah, I, I can see how this works. We need to get them there and then pull a switch or something like that. Iron Monk. What is your ill and death? Ask politely or you die. Elam Shin be done. Monk's gonna be slaughtered anyway. Ooh, crap. What? Ah, we need to be done. kill them on those uh, correct spots. Yes, Jabu Kustan El Gados. Okay, this is a wild problem. So, seventh battle, uh, seventh chamber done. Eventually, not a problem for a cleric. Chamber of Immolation. You must face your enemy in a hostile environment. Huge goo gah gouts of flame constantly erupt from the floor. Defeat them all to master the chamber. Um, uh, speed would probably be more uh, the most important attribute here. Get them to yeah. Get them to do. Well, I don't know what we're gonna have to do. Don't get interrupted yet. <gasps> Holy crap. Not, not a good place for Girl. cold burns. Yeah, terrible, terrible on the choice here. And we're about to die anyway. So, defeat probably a couple of capable enemies. 
in a very hostile environment. I don't see how I'm going to survive this. Order you to protect me. Yeah. In fact, in there, a simple warrior would be much better. If it two hostile monks in a hostile environment. What? Bacio, Bacio, Ferre, Bacio, Bacio, Ferre. Not sure we had the best choice in the undead we summoned anyway. You do not command me. Hey, it's a fire chamber for our cold touch, cold bones. Whatever. Couldn't possibly be any worse. Well, of course, we could summon fire elementals, I suppose. Vita. Builders drop, so that's pretty much the end of it. Uh, I, I think there are a lot of better options that we could use here. The thing is, uh, I don't want to what? do the inventory shit again. This is one of those reasons I hate this. It's so takes so much time, you don't want to do it, even though it makes a lot of sense to do it in another way. Gold bones, of course, step foot in gold bones. We're not gonna survive this. I have to try to summon another guy, otherwise we're gonna hit anyway. Okay, the greater zombie lord was immune to the fire damage. How dare this thing strike at me! How dare it! You try to go after the zombie lord, please. I would appreciate it, truly. I mean. And that's pretty much it. Yep, Zombie Lord doesn't give a shit about fire. Level up for Kasareb. Congratulations, Anikab. Though I almost wish that you'd actually been joining the order so that you take my place down here for a time. Oh well, be sure to let Sally Sam know that you succeeded. But if that bastard got the level up. I mean, there a couple of others will follow very close behind. Okay. I'm at the equipment in here. Ah, 
Ah, oh, my God, sakes! Can't do shit when about much equipment in use. Is that it? Can't do shit. Yes. Come on, try to succeed in your spell. I know there's a failure chance, but it's like below twenty percent. Speak. Yes, Jabuk. Alouve Oost. Is that Oost a Illendith? Um, no, I don't want to go rest quite yet. Of course, me now. Fine. Gonna get level up for other guys if we talk to him first. Congratulations, associate of the Black Raven Monastery. You now bear a distinction few indeed may boast of. On the monastery's third level, you will find the gate to Valas's tomb and the Underdark Passage open to you now. Thank you. Elendar, well. And the necessary level ups. Definitely want to rest before going there. Underdark is not a. It never is a place you go lightly to. And, um. No idea what. Well, I have a good idea what we can face there, but. It has a, such a wide selection, potential selection of enemies, that you never really know. The only thing is this is the one thing people and draw naturally that the, every maker of the game of games like this wants to shove in there for some reason. So I'm expecting both. Yeah, we could use a seventh level spell now. That we don't have any. Hmm. I don't know. Take an extra stone skin. And you need to change your spell selection too. We might as well keep one spiritual weapon, although why would we really Paralysis. Hmm. I'll take another old person. Anything really interesting here? Hold undead. Don't expect undead creatures. Doesn't mean we aren't gonna meet them, but I'll take it when we meet them. We could take. No, restoration probably wouldn't hurt. Hmm. The movement. What did we have here before? Utilize poison, we have it. Citation, maybe. I don't know. We take a. Is there spontaneous casting of fifth level a healing circle? I don't know. Maybe. Like another chaotic command. Hmm. Yep. 
and you. We at least need a 10th level rogue, which means we'll probably lo get to at least a 12th level rogue. New feats. Crippling Strike, Improved Evasion, Slippery Mind, so those are not bad at all. Okay, yeah, three points. What's our sneak attack damage? We'll save three, that's that's wonderful. Do you see your sneak attack? Five D six. Quit your blubbering. What is your ill stan el gados? Not exactly the kind of experience I was expecting. Didn't really mind. Didn't look forward to fighting with a ton of monks. Not very receptive to the spell selection. Ask politely, we have. Are you down? So, I'd like to go downstairs, see the edge of the Underdark, then we'll end there. Mm, actually, I don't know what to expect from here. Proper fights, maybe a boss one. Iron Gods. Let me take a goddamn guess. Touch that and. Surprise, oh well, predictables, hot sex coming your way. Is this map a okay, fairly sizable? Dead end. You could fight one iron golem at a time here, though. And we have a very powerful undead, so I'm, I'm not sure. What would be our chances? Iron golems are not weak. And I have no idea how we're gonna get lower. Do we have to fight them? No, we have to go there. I see. Um, I'd like to give it a try though. Mm, no, I'll save and take a look I at what, I'm free. what they have here in the first place. If it's nothing relating to us, there's no point in trying to make a huge deal out of it. Okay, it's a flail and a skull. No, I don't want the skull. I am your man. Easily done. What did we take? The shackles of Roa. Plus one enchantment. 33% chance of plus th two strength on wielder when struck. Melee only, uncumulative. Um. Ah. Eh. And razors of defense plus. So what I'm going to do is just load and we'll leave them. We'll leave them behind. 
I wasn't too keen on grave robbing here since we had a very very good relations with the monastery and it's our basically the only thing at our backs. So if some catastrophe happens to us in the underdark, this is the likeliest place where we will retreat if we can't manage to push forward to call the heart. So it would be sort of a stupid piece in their porridge, so to speak. Duergar. Gates being opened, brothers. The time is upon us. Move and in that attack. Oh, we are not here to fight you. Mm. The monks have hired mercenaries. Kill them all, lads. Sell sword scum, not even fit for slave. Oh. Foolish outsider. You have served your purpose. And now it is our time to be rid of you. We have seen your strength. You are no match for our Duergar tactics. Our hammer and anvil attack will crush you. How did he get here behind us? The Duergar boasts many abilities beyond those of your our other cowardly kin. The art of invisibility is but one of them. But now, outsider, prepare to behold our tremendous skill in battle. Oh shit. Oh shit. Um. It's less yeah, fun than one. killing. Congratulations. No, you can't yes. be the one doing that. Certainly. You can. I am needed. But, uh, Iron skin on that one. Oh, what do you need me now? Easily done. Um, Speak. I need to get some more people here, so. Ah, these things. Ah, ah. Do it. Do it now. I suppose I'm free to do your dirty work. I guess. Ah, of course. Things. Fine. Ready? Understand. Ah, ah, these things. Ah, I am your man. Yes, Jabu. Yes, yes. <laughs> there is none better than I. Okay, we do need to change the dynamics of this a uh, little bit, which means um, we need to cover our little bar there a little bit. We have a couple of Duergar warriors we can try to manipulate, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Melinda. <laughs> Quit your blubbering. The best I can, and I will. What the hell's going on? <sighs> Duergar Clary. Easy as gotta be something. Ah, uh, what else are you gonna do? Mm, might as well try to get a few of them paralyzed there. Yeah, that paralyzing thing isn't working too well for us. Hmm, eight, yeah. As long as we block this, it's all good. Um, death. Yeah, I don't think we're even silent. What is your ah, these things. Okay. Ah, 
I hear you. Ask politely, or you die. More things we could do. Mm, we can do quite a few things, in fact. Okay, what can we realistically do here to try to turn the tide a little bit? We cannot let them, well, get through. All persons might be the best. Enough. We don't need a lot of success there. Just a few to all hold their place and that will be the end of it. Speak. Okay, could a couple of you come this way over here. Ah, enthralling song. Could you, yeah, song silence. Yes, just Okay, we've got most things under control now. Yeah. I'm not too worried anymore. Do it. Do it look, now. I have to say it did look a little bit bad there for a moment. What the hell are you doing, boy? Um, oh. yeah, I think it's time to start disintegrating this piece of crap. It's going to go down very quickly. That's not, that's not. Yeah, more of it, just. Yeah, and it's gone. What is your Uh, what was the sixth level spell? Cure critical wounds. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely over. Hammer and anvil tactic. So many ah, not a bad idea. And looking into into this. 
Looks like we're gonna get a decent amount of money and heating out of this. Everyone has a medical weapon here. Yeah, pretty much. Or it was uh, at least a decent amount of money. We could go back upstairs, I suppose, and try to get rid of it now. But it looks at the same time there wasn't that many actual loot items here. Just uh, three, four specially named characters who have, have the special equipment. We do need to rest though, I'm not getting into Underdark uh, in these conditions. Another shield. The body is that. Um, is that it? Oh look, more medical items. Ah, well, at least we got a nice ending to this. I think I'll just pack them all into our bag of holding and let it let it be. Skirling skull. Play twenty-five percent chance this problematic on target will save. 33% chance to defend a struck target, 33% chance to defend bearer struck. That's not a bad item for a uh, warrior. Defending doesn't mean shit, and diplomatic and defend enemies are good against casters. Ocean of Ghost Armor, that's wonderful. Battle Axe plus 2. Warhammer plus 1. Valor Bow plus 2. Martial and Hammer. 33% chance target please in the pier. I'm not sure that's a good idea. It's a great damage on the hammer though. Bellar plus one. Black urchin. Crappy buckler. Plus more shield. 25% chance attacker will succumb to the effects of the spell poison. Could be useful. Potion of aid. That doesn't look like a potion. Okay. It's, in my opinion, better version of the black chimes. It has a 25% chance of uh, just getting deafened. This is a diplomatic and uh, deafened. Both with higher chances. Lost two weapons. Can't underestimate those. And this hammer is fantastic. <sighs> Okay, we're reaching the limits of how much we can carry. that get away from me. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. Inventory is a bit of a mess. 
especially the thief should have more free inventory space. Other than that though, uh, I think we're fine. High Priestess Lissara's journal, yes, yeah, go away. Ah. See if I can rest here. Ask so. politely or you die. Aluve Oost. Yeah, uh, I, I can't just get out of here, not in this condition. But it's over. Um, I, I'm ending it here. I'm uh, basically just going upstairs to sleep, and that's it. Next time we'll start at the other dark.